so hey guys what's going on so today we are going to set up file manager software or uh, pc so what we are going to learn is basics of how we can use file manager and how we can set up our computer so this is file manager file manager is used to edit manage and update file rename anything this is uh, mostly used to manage your files or our system so it is famous because of its interface and it is easy to use but uh, before using this we need to do some setup on on this file manager so what we have to do but if we want to run a C++ CPP file Java file on this file manager so what we need to put some path so here we can see here is a you can see here is a console command prompt where you can use to run commands, run programs if you press control plus O control plus O you can switch to the full screen console and if you again press it again you will back to the main screen so so this is the home screen of the file manager here you can see lots of files are in this showing it of your PC <clears throat> so let's start if we, I want want to create a CPP file or Java file so first let me <clears throat> went to that location where I want to create uh, other than this you also, you can also make a folder using uh, F7 like you can see this uh, here is lots of uh, functions are showing here for the function key you can use for any type of update addition uh, editing deletion everything so i am going towards d disk d local disk where i put my all the code so as you can see i am on the d disk it is showing all my folders on that disk and all the files that I am putting that disk so I am coming to the after code folder here you can see my cpp files and the txt files so the problem comes is how you can run this cpp file on this file for this you need to put the path of the tdm gcc compiler and also the path for the java compiler so how we can use this how we can do this so just follow me as you can see there is a cpp file for example i want to run this file so if i want to edit this before running if i want to edit this i can use function f4 which open this file in edit mode you can modify anything if you want to edit this file like hello learn basic so that's it if you want to save it you just press F as you can see here is showing F2 to save your file you need to save just come out by F4 so if you want it is already made file in my folder if you want to make a, create a new file all you need to just press shift plus F4 to create a new file just put the name of your new file and with the extension and press ok the new file will generate in this particular folder and just open it by 
fn plus f very easy after it uh, the main thing is the putting the path of the compiler in the file manager so how we can link file manager with the gcc compiler just come on the top of this screen just click here the this menu will appear like this and just come in this command menu and uh, go to file association here and if you are new to this file manager you are installed it newly and then if you come to the file association you file you will found nothing here or there is no extension it just show a, a green box a green so <clears throat> if you want to create a new file association you need to press insert key once you press insert this type of a box will open all you need to do is name uh, like uh, you need to put the extension of the file which you want to create like i already made extension uh, association for cpp java exe csc files class class i made it for a class file that created by the java compiler to execute this class file in using file manager <sighs> okay now i'll show you what path i set for the cpp file just double click on it you just you can see what the information you need to put while you are creating a new file association as you can see here is the uh, extension is written with a star star is showing the file name anything uh, any file name and dot cpp is the extension is the description you can write anything about uh, the file that you are creating type file type uh, and then here is the execute command uh, execute command means what you want to do with your file when you press enter on your file so here is the path that i write so what you have in your pc is a tdm gcc compiler which is installed in c drive and this is the path to the g it up to the g++ then uh, this is written uh, minus o2 minus wall minus wl then comma this exclamation mark showing the first exclamation mark showing the name of the file and second is showing the extension of the file and this is your dot which is separating with extension and the file name and this minus o uh, minus small o this is small o and this is a big o then uh, one more time exclamation dot just save it by pressing ok and that's it you are now able to run cpp file on this on this file and now if you want to <laughs> associate files with the java java files so you need to again create new file session by creating uh, by pressing insert button can put all this information like this uh, star dot java java file and here you can see java is already installed in your pc and you are and you if you already done the path i mean the path is already set in the in your pc in environmental variable section then you need to write just two words here java c that we already write uh, we write that we write commonly write to run a java file on a cmd command prompt by just using this command java c this uh, exclamation is showing the file name this is showing the extension mark so you can also compile your java program as a center on that file particular file 
let's talk about next thing and uh, especially for java if you create uh, if you compile your java file it will create dot class file so we need to create a file association for that particularly particularly so just create it by uh, putting this information start the class is this, and there is the, to run the java class file we need to write java and exclamation is showing the file name particular file name of your file name or we can say class name now we are all set now if we want to run this hello cpp file all you need to do is just enter press enter on hello.cpp now think this is thing got link after it come back to the main home screen and now you can see after compiling it, the hello.exe file will generate. Now you all you need to press enter again to run this file. Now you can see that it is blinking again. If you want to go to console screen again, in a full screen mode, all you need to just press control plus O. You can see it is showing our output hello learn basic of power manager that we set. <coughs> Just a few moments later. <coughs> ago. <coughs> oh. okay, let's come to the home screen by pressing control plus O again. <coughs> As you can see, we are all set. Now, the, the best thing that I found. Uh, in this power manager well well it is also available in command prompt but i like the way it is using in the using in this file power manager because it is uh, helping us to manage our file in so easy way so what we are what we have to do is just what uh, uh, if To open a file, you need to press F control. So you can see this is a in. I name this file only in. There is no extension. Don't don't put any extension behind this file. This file is just used to input. Uh, used as an input file for your program. For example, there is an edition program. Uh, it takes two in two input number and give you the addition of that two number so <clears throat> how am we going to use this program like uh, as you can see i compiled it already so the exe file is already there so all i need to do is uh, i just <clears throat> come to the console screen as you can see in the bottom side and uh, all you need to just to do all you need to do is just write the file name make greater than sign smaller sign and just write the name so same name as you can see i write it here of the that file name in which is which contain the input numbers for your program just write it and if you just enter press enter button come to the uh, console screen as you can see it is showing our addition of two number that is 10 plus 8 equals to 8 so i like the way it is helping us uh, so it reduces our efforts uh, means we need we no need to put uh, every time uh, some numbers so you can fix it And already, and also, we are not using any static numbers, static digits, static input. We are just putting it by the using file. You can use it for array. You can use it for.
for competitive programming questions, anything. So in this way, it reduces your programming, reduces your efforts. So that's it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it will help. It will helpful for you. And uh, yep. Bye. 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 Bye.